you lose even one Melemian from the first wave, you can never, I repeat, never get level four from the first four waves. So here I should have noticed that he's actually not in range for the XP and we dive him. The I reason why Silas dies is literally because- Every move you made, I was watching you. He's playing against Gangplank. This could be Solar Baka again. A rematch against Solar Baka. He's playing Flash Ignite. Let's go. No mercy this time. Good luck with the dot. I'm not gonna do it. Don't hit me. Try some reverse psychology shit. Don't work on my buddy. Not allowed to hit them for 20 seconds, huh? Massive level one has owned him from the XP. If this wave pushed into me, it's game over for him, by the way. I'm at level four here. He's still level two. He cannot get level three. I'm sorry, but the game is so over. The game is so over, guys. That's why zoning people from level 1 EXP is everything. Fundamental. And the wave is pushing back into me as well. Like, this guy's game is so over, by the way. Okay, I misplayed that. Could've gotten like two more autos in there. Or maybe should've focused his barrel. Hey guys, I explained to you everything that I just did here in the last game. I did the exact same thing against the Silas last game. Are you guys seeing the habit of fundamentals, guys? Oops. This is brutal. Okay, Belvin is there to protect him. Okay, I'll let go. Zora count too. Wait, what? Oh, easy solo bolo. He died to the goals or something. How did I just get a kill? Um, I mean, uh, fundamentals. He's gonna it's make this way push into it. He's smart. He doesn't have ult right now to push out next wave. His barrel's about to disappear. Just wait. Oh. Katarina is a big pig, big int, but why doesn't he just wait like one second? Oh shit. This game's gonna be a hard one. What is the Katarina doing? Legit, he's like he's a million percent dead there. I need level 11 here. I'm scared of Velvet, maybe. No counter play. I explained to you guys last game how that works. I'm so close to my item. I would prefer to stay for one more wave, actually. Now I'll have it. If we get this turret, I get 50 gold. I kind of see here, but Belvet is there. Okay. Yeah, the souls are kind of replaying, I feel like, actually. You can't freeze permanently. We'll take a run up. What is that guy doing then? Yeah, let's engage, guys. Let's engage. Let's engage. I don't know, bro. What are the idiots? Now let's not overstay. Play's over. We got two turrets and two kills. That was a good way to expand the lead. Gameplay was freezing top, so we had to play the map fast. He crit there at the end. He crit there at the end with 20%. Nice one. Do 
first game this game. I, I, I'm not this game actually today. I've been smurfing every game today. You have to stream for at least three more hours. Piggy wanna see that GM when I come back from spraying. This game, bro. I don't think we can end. Maybe we can. I don't want to die. Okay. Nice. That turret dies, I believe. Yep. I have open access now. All right. I did the wrong one. Open Nexus surely can't lose now. Don't say that. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright. One day we'll play against Solar Baka. My favorite homie. I hope he didn't get tilted because I said fundamentals. I hope I didn't tilt him with that one. Because I didn't mean it in a derogatory manner. I'll, I'll replay it to you guys, like similar to what I did last game. Why it was insta GG, okay? I'm gonna walk you guys through the same concepts, okay? And this is a combination of two habits that I explain in depth in the course as well. So pay attention, okay? You're gonna learn some new things here. Level timers and level one aggression. Guys, this is the back concepts of it, okay? Your first four waves matter the most think back to some of your recent games every game almost every game for the solo laner is decided in the first four waves now one piece of information that you need to know as well is that exp snowballs way harder than gold in the early game take a look at this okay i am playing with three potions and i see that he has one potion and so here i'm going to trade into his passive and into his bone plating and even though he hits me with his passive here this is an equal health trade who benefits me he does get a second barrel here but even if he landed it you see how i was walking right and i instantly walk left and that's why he placed it right i did a movement command and an insta to the left right so this side step was crucial but i would have still been in a very good spot and so now it was an equal health trait he has no barrels left and i have two potions and he has none and so now what i'm going to do is zone my opponent from the first three means worth of exp and again exp snowballs much harder than gold in the early game you see me zoning him and i'm standing here I'm in range of this EXP, he is out of range, I'm gonna get the EXP, and he is not. And this instantly dooms the laning phase for him, because he's going to be delayed to his level 2 timer with 3 melee means. That means, instead of getting his level 2 at the start of wave 2, he's gonna get it at the end of wave 2. And that completely changed it, because by the time he gets his level 2, I'm already gonna be level 3. How can play, right? And so here, he lost all 3 means worth of EXP. I got it, even though Belvet is doing this, it actually doesn't matter. And so now, my job is to try and even make this wave maybe push into me. I don't do that successfully, but I do get some additional trades onto him. And any trade that I do onto him right now without a wing, the wave is absolutely massive. Okay, I'm gonna skip through it a little faster here. And you see here, he just hit level 2, right? Just hit it. But you see, I'm already level 3. And that is because of zoning him from the first 3 means worth of XP. And so now, after this trade... His lane is over, another equal health trade. And now, because I have priority, and because he lost his first three means, right? He is still level two here. That was my intention behind the trade as well. First of all, I'm a level higher, right? So that's that, that's always gonna be good. But he does get passive here, barrel, ignite, and another passive, but it doesn't matter, because it's again an equal health trade. And so now, as I said, and it is similar to the Silas last game, I'm gonna be level four, and he cannot get his level three in time. Last game, the Silas was actually level 3, but one crucial thing to note here as well, he moves here, he loses that EXP, and he loses uh, that EXP right here. And you see here, he can never get these means. He can't get these means. And so now, look, I knew he was never gonna get level 3 here. These means won't die, as long as we start to dive before. And so we dive, I dodge the barrel, one-shot him, kill the Belvet 2. For some reason, 
I get executed as well. Cherry on top. And so now his lane is absolutely over because these minions are gonna stay intact. My next minion wave is Rock to his turret. He's losing three full waves here. Plus I lose nothing. Game is over. That was from one mistake at level one. And the game snowballs. That's how top line works, guys. First things first, level one. We of course get the sword, so we know how the junglers are pathing in the early game. And we do know that Jax is going to be pathing into top. My jungler assumed that he might be starting here because we saw them here. And what I do in the first wave is try to see if I can get an aggressive trade into Silas because my champion stat check Silas at the level one. I'm way stronger level one. And so what I do here is I wait for these minions to get low HP and then walk out and force Silas to make a decision. He either goes for the minions, but then he would get destroyed by me. So now Silas is to make a decision. I will be standing here. So I'm still in the XP range, but he's going to be out of this XP range, right? If I stand here. Now, the thing with the early game is that EXP snowballs infinitely harder than gold. And that is because if you even lose one to three means worth of exp you will completely be delayed in every level of timer which is which is going to give you a massive edge so here i believe silas gets all three of the exp no he actually lost two you see here he lost two i didn't know that oh he lost all three so you see i get all three of the exp and he got none of that now what that is going to do is perpetually keep silas lower than me with level up timers another detail that happened here is you see how these mean step forward and his step backwards now i'm very unlucky with the rng that these three are all hitting this because if this mean would stay alive there's a very good chance that this wave would even start pushing into me but simply because this caster died i have one extra mean now so this wave will slowly push to the silas oh actually no he lost one okay yeah, i lost one never mind he lost one i thought he lost all three okay he lost one what would you do in silas shoes well you can approach the wave from here you could go like you he basically did the best thing he could do but that is why silas is very weak level one into into riven this is why it's a full counter matchup I'm allowed to do this because of the counter matchup. Now, him losing this one EXP level one, I thought he lo I thought he lost uh, one or two. I wasn't entirely sure, but now look at this. So, whilst the sliding phase is going to go continue, I'm going to hit my level three faster than him. Of course, because I have priority and because I have more XP from level one, right? So, this is going to give me my level three. Standard level three timer. First two ways plus two melees, you get your level three. There we go. And now I get to trade with him. And this trade is super worth it for me. And I instantly said here, I will be level 4 and Silas will only be level 3. That is because if you lose even one melee minion from the first wave, you can never, I repeat, never get level 4 from the first 4 waves. Your normal level 4 timer would be to get all these minions and if 2 casters remain, that's where you get your level 4. So normally here... Two casters remaining, watch this. But usually, you see here, I'm up just above. Normally, two casters left would be my level four timer. So now, I could dive to Silas, but he has E and W, so it's risky, right? And if Silas kills everything here, he still wouldn't get level four. But I assumed he actually did not lose any XP. So then, Silas would need to kill this, this, this mean to hit his level four, right? Look at this. I am diving. You could have gotten it here. Okay, you could have gotten four. So here, I should have noticed that he's actually not in range for the XP. And we dive him. I thought there was one more mean over, but you see here, the reason why Silas dies is literally because he lost that one bit of XP at level 1. That is why he's not level 4, and that is why I can dive him. Plus, because he used his ability on the turret here, which is a mistake. He should never use his abilities here on the turret. He should just let himself get, like, he should just play this slower. Because he has no flash from earlier. So now I can just flash and get him like that, and live, and game over. XP, level 1 trade. And I'm swagged up, blowing on